I used to be on M1A1 Abrams tanks in the Army, and eventually I want to create an assembly with the full mechanism for the tank tracks, but in the meantime, I'm going to do a much simpler part version, and that gives me the opportunity to show direction patterns and a spinal bend. All right, here I am in Creo Parametric, and I've got a very simple part model started. I have a curve that I'm going to eventually bend my tank track around. And right now in the part, I just have an extrude that represents sort of like the flattened track. And I have just one extrude for the tank treads. Let's use a direction pattern in order to create multiple instances of that. And so I'm going to select the tank tread feature and then in the mini toolbar I can use the pattern command. By default it goes to a dimension pattern but I'm going to use the drop down list to change it to a direction pattern. Now I'm going to pick some geometry in my model to define the direction. And I could choose say this edge over here but I prefer to use surfaces or datum planes because they are more stable. And let's flip the direction. And for the spacing, I'm going to have a spacing of 9. And based on the length of my extrude, I'm going to use a value of 100. That's good. You can hit the check mark or the middle mouse button, and that will create the pattern of features. So I like what I have so far, except I need this to be in the shape of an actual tank tread. So I want to wrap this around this curve in the model. And to do that, you're going to use the spinal bend feature. So I'll go to the model tab. And then from the engineering overflow, we have the spinal bend. I'll click on it. And right now, if I go to the references tab, it wants to know what I want to use as the spine, what curve I want to use. So let's select this curve over here. And I need to specify what geometry is going to be bent. I can right click and hold and choose bend geometry, which is the same thing as clicking in this collector in the ribbon. And let's select our part geometry. And right now, I notice that my flip arrow was going in the wrong direction. If I hit the check mark, it's going to say that this feature failed. So let's click OK. And I'm going to delete this feature. And let's do it again. Engineering spinal bend, select my curve, and we don't want to bend in this direction, we want to bend in the other direction, so let's click that. If you go to the references tab, uh, I don't think you really have a place where you can flip it on the ribbon, you have to do it in the graphics area. And let's right click and hold and choose bend geometry again. Select my part geometry, it's thinking, and there you see a preview of it being wrapped around here. And there are two other options to be aware of. First off, there's this one for lock length. And it's not really appropriate in this situation over here. Let's say that my part geometry uh, was longer, excuse me, my part geometry was shorter than the curve that I was using. That's when you would probably want to use lock length. The other one that I want to mention is on the options tab, you can remove unbent geometry. And that's what I have in this situation here, where I know that my original geometry is longer than the length of the curve, so I can remove the unbent portion. And now, when I'm happy, I can hit the check mark. And the spinal bend is created, and you can see how we have our geometry nicely wrapped around the curve. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.